Hey, all you craft people, this is Tomboy, and today in the modcast, I have R Dart, Fuzzy, Little, uh, SD Train Friend, Baku, and we have a special guest, Seal, with Hello. us, friend of Baku. So, today we have different Hello. topics today, but today we're going to do Fuzzy's uh, Comic Con thing that she went to over the weekend. So, how, how'd it go? Did you meet anyone? Do you see cool things? The only person I met that who actually even came up, who we already know as a fan, is Vivarts. I got to meet Vivarts. <gasps> cool. In real life. She oh. actually leaked the picture in one of our chats. Um, it was fun, though. There were so many costumes, and I'm like, yeah. visual stimulus, overwhelmed. <laughs> I, I've been to Comic Con in San Diego. Holy shit. <laughs> Wasn't that the big one over there? Yeah, that's Isn't the biggest that the one, one in San Diego. Waste, like a hundred years. Yeah. So, uh, what else went on over there? Tell us. Uh, Where'd you go? Where'd you go see? What, what uh, panels did you go see and stuff? Uh, I kind of was just kind of traveling around and looked mainly at the bottom floor because for what I'm used to, that bottom floor is huge. And so, I got to see, like, Artist Alley. I did go there. That was one of the first spots I wanted to go to. So, you know, my heck, there's some amazing Support our artists. local artists. Support them. Yes. Support them. Um, and then yes. I went to some, like, other places. I went to other places. Um, got lots of pictures. Uh, there was a group that, when we were going to our hotel, they were all Batman villains. <laughs> you could tell they were back in feelings. I got the picture of them later. Um, there were so many Avengers and things like that yeah. because Marvel we had movie. Captain America down there. Nice. And so I did not get to meet him, sadly. Uh, found out just how expensive things could be. Didn't think about, didn't know about that until this year. Mm -hmm. This first convention ever. I would not know that till now. Um, I did get to high five Sean Austin. Nice. Which, to those who don't know who Sean Austin is, it is the actor who played Sam in Lord of the Rings. So, Woo! Yeah, that was really. <laughs> I, is he really I that saw, short? No, I'm kidding. I still have to see the movie, but I read the books and Sam's my favorite character from the books. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, he's yeah. my favorite character from the movies, and that's why it was amazing meeting him. Found out from a fan in the line, um, who's seen Adam's family? Me. Um, Not for a little bit. A little bit. Yeah! Yeah, okay. The guy who plays Gomez Adams is Sean Austin's dad. Really? Cool. Oh. I found that out from a fan in the line. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so cool. I'm like, of all the things to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Acting runs in the family. I guess. Acting friends in the family. Um, Sean Austin was also in Who's Ever Seen This? The Goonies. Yeah. The Goonies. Yeah. So, it was kind of interesting learning. So, just learning that. Um, I did not get to meet another actor I wanted to, but uh, for some reason, the name of the robot is not coming to mind. But it's Star Wars, and it's the humanoid gold robot. C3. Oh, C3. Thank you! He was there. Ah. So, and he was in line, but his line was like really short, but when I finally got the chance to go over to his line, he was over at his photo ops. Uh, so six. I wasn't able You're all Minati's like, yes. She's yes. just <laughs> mischievously <laughs> petting her for alligator. Yes, I can do that too. I'm very happy oh, to <laughs> I found something for my dad, what? and I found something for Little. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, boy. But Little doesn't get it till Christmas, so I can't show her. <laughs> <laughs> you can show me later, right? <laughs> yeah, I can show you later. But I did get this little guy who no. I really would love help naming her, him. I don't know what it is yet. And I kind of need help with well, me. It's like, it's white. It's so, like a little snow dragon. Mm -hmm. Except, Except not blue eyes. eyes. It's, it's got, got gold eyes. Ooh. But it's... Um, Actually called the dragon pet, and it actually. Oh, I've heard, I've seen those. That is cool. Oh, cool. Oh, I am so stealing it when I fly over whenever. <laughs> whenever. Hide it. Hide all your dragon stuff. 
Take a chance. Ooh. I'm stealing that too. Oh my god. god. The knife actually comes out, and I was thinking if I ever get to go again, I might use that knife as a cosplay. Well, love, it's not a knife, it's a dagger. Well, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Certain uh, cons will not allow you to have real weapons. They will confiscate it. Oh my god! Reflection. Reflection. I put ourselves in the reflection. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so these buttons are awesome. But okay, I don't know if this will show up. It's a handmade leather journal. Ooh! Oh wow! Oh, that's beautiful. That is wow. And it has a little lock on the other side. Oh, it's so oh, cute! It's so cute! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, cool! So, where have I put it? Oh, I'm just leaving my mom. You have to give me a minute. This made me laugh. Uh, I got a total of eight buttons. Hmm. I got eight buttons. I love collecting yeah. buttons. That's the thing I I'll buy at RS Alley. It's like a butt-ton of uh, buttons. Yeah. So, so I actually would have had seven, but, but then she told me for 50 cents more, you could get one more. Yeah, they always like, have deals. Might as well. <laughs> also, on the very last day of cons, they always, in our alley, bump down their prices. Oh, hey! Oh, hey. Aww. Aww. Little, little chibi R2 there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this button makes me laugh because it fits one of her chats so well. I ship it. Oh, yes. yes. That fits, that fits every chat, actually. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm uh, fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy, what about this? <laughs> you ship this? Now hold up the pin, fuzzy. Hold up the pin. Water <laughs> tribe. Say, I ship it. <laughs> I think Adam's gonna kick my fuzzy. ass. Fuzzy, water tribe. <laughs> yeah, it's water tribe. Oh, come on. You have to go water <laughs> tribe if I'm snow or ice at all. Yeah. Um, I came out as an air <laughs> Sorry. I actually, actually, when, when I, I took the test, test, I was an <laughs> airbender at the time. <laughs> it's really... Creeper! Diamond sword. Diamond sword. Diamond sword. Got my actual, actual diamond, diamond sword in the back here somewhere. I can't bring it I finally saw this movie I'm about to show you right before going down. Oh, nice. <laughs> Are you really I'll have to show you a picture because there was actually someone who cosplayed as Groot. Oh my god, really? I had the height and everything. I look short. I look very short. And I am in real life five foot six. I could still put my chin on your head. Oh, nice. Captain America and Soviet Winter Soldier. Live long and. Cross 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 for Nimoy! For Nimoy! Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> so. But yeah, there's all those buttons. Uh, that, the dragon. I assume you purchased those in Ars Alley, right? Hmm? You, pur you purchased those in Ars Alley? If not in Ars Alley, Alley, really close to it. Alright, cool. So, I always try to buy stuff e from Ars Alley. Yeah. <laughs> you get better deals in Ars Alley. Huh? You get better deals in our salad. Yeah, it was hard <laughs> if you browse the buttons. So. Obviously, Obviously, some of these you're not going to get from Star Wars or things like that. And so. Yeah. But yeah, they were fun little buttons. The last thing I had that I can think of at the top of my head, because I think I've shown you guys everything um, besides the business cards I managed to get, uh... Is a hat that said Comic Con on it, but my dad likes to wear hats, so I gave it to him. No, that's oh, nice. Okay. But I did get a business associate who actually lives about one town away from me. Oh, yeah. I found out, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> and one of them grew up in the town I did. Oh, that's so cool. I'm like, oh, world. <laughs> I know, right? It's amazing how big the world is, but yet it's so small. Mm hmm. Hi. So, I can't remember an example. I Did just I know there are times that I showed you guys for <laughs> What? Did I show them the last thing and thing I showed before? Oh, the ring? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I don't think you've shown the ring to us. I mean, as recording. No, no I, I haven't, have but should I? I? Yeah, go. Go for okay. it. She has her ring cool. with the name on it. The one ring. We need the one ring. But the ring is oh. so, To those, those who can't, can't are wondering why I'm holding the ring that way, um... It actually has my real name on it. 
Which I don't know. Which I don't know. Little of us. Um, okay. Kind of So I have a picture. So did you see? Hey, Fuzzy. Fuzzy, did you think you'll see that that may cosplayers like that amazing good cosplayers? There's some bad ones that make you laugh, but then there's really good ones. You go, holy yeah. crap. If, if I, I could, I'd show you, but most of the pictures I have are actually on my camera, camera which, which I've actually connected it to my laptop so I can work on them. All right, yeah, you, uh, you guys. post them, I can link them into the video later on. And yeah, we can post them. I'll put them in Skype or give them to you privately. Yeah. But there was, like, a group of Batman villain cosplayers that were really good. Um, I will have the group one, because that was really cool. There was an alien, and it was a girl inside. That was really cool. And they, they were telling me it was made of foam and paper and cardboard and all those other things. And I'm like, that's cool. I know, and sometimes you see something that looks like steel, but it's made out of foam. And you're all like, how do they do that? It's like, these cosplayers are also artists, too, because they built yeah. that stuff. Oh, the only yeah. time they yeah. hand make these. It's there is also a lot of like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, one of the ones I think I'll send you. It was actually they do. They dress up like heroes for children. And it's one of those foundations where they actually dress up for children in hospitals and things like that. Okay. Five first. Hmm. Like the five I first. I don't know what that means. It's the Star Wars group that goes out. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's just, just kind of one of those groups, and they were all dressed up as heroes. It was really cool. Um, there was a setup for Ghostbusters. Oh, nice. cool. Yeah. I know they're yeah. doing, they're rebooting the series with the female cast this time. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, speaking, of, well, speaking of movies, do you have anything else you want to say, or do we want to we move up to the next topic here? I'm good. Okay. Well, the next topic I want to ask you guys, I've been seeing some previews of some movies, you know, uh, the, the reboot of Ghostbusters was one of them. They're also doing an Angry Birds movie and the Jungle Book movie, live. Hmm. Has any of you guys seen these previews of these movies? No. no? Yeah. Have you guys uh, seen previews, but I know all three of them are coming out. Yeah. I actually saw a preview. It's funny. I get all my information now from a site called Imager. I don't know if you guys have been there. I always link you guys to there every once in a while, but mm -hmm. I've been seeing, you know, previews and whatnot through that site. And that's when I first saw the Jungle Book movie, and it looks really good. If any of you guys seen the old cartoon one back in, yeah. I don't know when it was made. What was that? Yeah, I don't know if it was when it's made, but I've seen the old cartoon. I grew up with that. The 70s, probably, for that video. 70s, 80s, or something like that, but it was. I was, yeah. in the 70s or 80s. I was born in the 80s, so. Hey, I'm old. Shut up. But, um. Yeah, you're not <laughs> old, you're just more mature. mature. It's, it's a, a choice, choice to act like a kid. kid. Yes. <laughs> and forgive me for eating pizza, but I got home shortly before this was going on. That's so. fine. But have you guys ever heard of any other movies that you want, that you've been hearing about, that you want to go see? Star Wars. Huh? <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars is close on the Sin Elmer. I want to go back because only now I love the Star Wars series, but only because of one guy that's showing up. Oh, you all know who, right? Harrison Ford. Oh, you mean the guy who crashes aircraft? Yes, I love that guy. He was my favorite character, and I'm so glad that he's back in this in these movies. I so. wonder if he made it to EA this year. <laughs> he's looking good for looking old. Oh, wow. That's interesting. What? No, oh, I've just gone on to new com new movies coming soon, and does anyone know the old cut 80s, 80s, 70s cartoon show, Jim? Um, yeah, I've, I've seen parts of it, but I didn't really watch it. Um, it came out, a, there was a channel that showed it every so often a little while, a couple of years ago, and I watched it then. You don't watch every show, but I know what it is. I think it's the Netflix movie. Jim, I don't remember. Can someone? Uh... It's like it's Jim. It's like um pop group, cars, eighty, very. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen that one. Mm. It's 
From what I got to see of it, it was an interesting story. Yeah, but they're constantly defending a company that the daughter now owns. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember now. Holy yeah, and sing And she become her father was incredibly intelligent, and he had built something, and it allows through the process of this first show because that's what I one of the ones I got to see. Um, it allows her through a pair of earrings to transform into Jen, the pop star. So. Funny. I don't think I've and seen this, this at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think a whole lot of but people have. I, I thought it was funny. I saw a trailer through Twitter of Angry Birds movie. I mean, I, I saw that. Know. And I'm like, and I realized my husband told me there's a lore behind the Angry Birds car, uh, game. And I'm all like, oh. there is? And it's crazy. There's actually a lore. If you go up and look at it. And this movie looks really good. It's all 3D. It looks really good, and I'm not a big fan of Angry Birds, but I will go and see this movie because it looks really good. You know what you know movie I'm, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to? to? What? Goosebumps. Oh yes. That's, That's gonna, gonna be, be fun. fun. I used to read Goosebumps when I was a kid. I need to that read was the only thing I read. The stories I didn't read. I watched I... like also the uh, Goosebumps. Uh, didn't they have one? The TV show. The TV show. That one too. I yeah. used to watch that. I loved it. And I don't know about you guys. I like Jack. But, you know, I like him. Yeah, yeah. Jack Black. Yeah. But I like him. Some people don't like him, but I like the him. The main problem with this is that I have is, is like, okay, I just recently saw one of the newer trailers for this Goosebumps movie, movie. Yeah. and yeah. in comes the ventriloquist doll. Shit! <laughs> they gotta they deal with that ass! ass. Oh, oh, not the, no, not the just, doll! No, the moment it's a ventriloquist doll in any third war setting, no, it's freaky ass. It's going to bring you hell. Oh. Um, another, another movie, movie that, that, you, that that people are looking forward to, though, uh, more than likely, is uh, uh, Captain, Captain America: Civil, Civil War, War that they're, they're working, working on right now. now. Oh, I still need to watch Age of Ultron the... before I go to that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually have that movie. I have it on a flash drive. Um, I'm, I'm looking, looking on both Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb, uh, or IMDb right now, and uh, two movies that catch my eye right off the bat are. Uh, uh, attack, attack on, on Titan, Titan live action, action and then hand. I don't know if I would want to see that. Oh, <laughs> who's excited for the Deadpool movie? Oh my yeah. god! Yes, yes, I can't wait for Deadpool, man. Right. I, 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 love so <laughs> I, I, I love that guy. I love the actor. Oh my god, his name slips uh, me now. I, Who play? Who's playing Deadpool again? I'm slipping my man. Uh, my na the name is slipping. Oh. Ryan Reynolds. I like him as an actor. I always liked him. He's funny. I remember... I haven't seen this for the movie, but I remember someone saying for the Stan Lee cameo for the movie, that fool should notice that Stan Lee and start saying, oh god, you're god. Yeah. <laughs> you know Deadpool. If you read any of his comics, he breaks the fourth wall every time. He knows he's in a comic. And he's gonna know he's in a movie. So, problem computer froze, so expect oddities. Alright. Uh, <laughs> but, uh. Hey, Shane, got any opinion on uh, the Deadpool, Deadpool movie coming, coming soon? soon? What? I just came back. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, what's <laughs> your opinion on the Deadpool movie coming up? Oh. Uh. I don't know, I've never, I've never been, been a very big Deadpool, Deadpool fan, fan personally, so... Mm. I don't know, he's, he's more of a DC guy. No, he's DC. Yeah. Um, Batman vs. Superman! Yeah, that one oh. too! Go <laughs> to Batman! You want Batman to win? Uh, yeah. I don't know, I think Superman could kick his ass, because he has powers, Batman doesn't. Yeah, I know He's like mortal! If you, if you want, want to be realistic, realistic no. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna stop my rant. Good, I will not oh, rant. Okay. <laughs> One thing I don't ever do. They've yeah, done Batman before. I know, they've like, done the comics and. Batman always wins. Because oh, Batman wins. really? No, there, no, there was, was the, the one time where instead of Batman winning, it was Alfred winning. Oh, yes. How did that work? It's ass. I love, I love that. 
Oh. Oh, that. It's because he's British, isn't he? <laughs> it's because he's Alfred, man. Don't <laughs> fuck with the bot butler. <laughs> yeah. I w every Alfred has always been so badass. You know, I love Alfred. Whoever plays him is like, holy crap, he's awesome. Mm. Yeah. But you have to also consider Alfred is basically who raised Batman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a father. Mm -hmm. Also, what's the other one? The Wonder Woman movie that's coming Wonder out? Woman is coming, mm -hmm. yeah. That one got up a lot of hype right there. Mm -hmm. Also, about her outfit, too, because her outfit I changed. I haven't seen much on it. In this, uh, I haven't either. Huh? So, so her, her outfit, outfit has changed, changed up from the Chester? No, it's changed. Her outfit's uh -huh. not the same like we're, we know in the comics. It's changed. Like mm -hmm. every other superhero in Marvel, Marvel's movie, they change slightly change it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, wow. For copyright and things like that. Well, no, Marvel owns it. They can, they're they making a movie, so... But they always change it to fit the movie style because <laughs> comics are different yeah. from movies. Well, well one thing's for sure. <laughs> possible for shots, for shots with Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman are definitely, definitely going, going to be a thing. thing. What? Sure. Shit, that is. Or at least not an original costume. Yeah. But, uh... Is there any other movies coming, coming out right now? I don't think so. I think that's about no, it. Not not there, there's, there's like, like movies coming out in 2016, like Kung Fu Panda 3. Oh, uh, Kung Fu Panda. I heard about that one, the third one. I'm like, yes. Please. Uh, I, I enjoy it. Oh my god. Yeah, they made a trailer. I actually saw the trailer. I saw that trailer, and he's looking at it, and, you know, possibly his own family member, right? And he's like, his own father, and he's like, I hope you find your father. Your father. It's like, <laughs> and everyone <laughs> looks at them like, are you kidding me? Yeah, they're all like, yeah. <laughs> I lost my father when I was a child. I lost my child long ago. I hope you find your family member. You too. I know, I know. <laughs> all the, oh, are you present who even raised the, the oh, Poe? Poe. Oh, thank you. Where's the human race Poe? Right there. <laughs> I know. Apparently, they're making a. What? What? Apparently, there's a Ratchet and Clank movie that's going to be animated coming up. I'm excited. Oh my god. Nice. Is there any other. Is there any other 3D movies coming out? Because I'm a big 3D movie fan. Um, um, it's, it's possible, possible that, that Alice through the Looking Glass, glass uh, uh, could be 3D. 3D. Ooh. Once again. And we all know about the Minecraft movie that's going to be making in the future. Yeah, I heard about that. No, I haven't heard about that. I'm nervous that. for that one. Yeah, I'm nervous because they're making it live action, and I wonder how they're going to do it. Well, it's yeah. going to be interesting to see. I want. I'm waiting for the trailer. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. For, I'm not judging until the first trailer comes out because I'm kind of yeah. iffy. If they make it live action, I wonder how the characters are going to look. And well, what's there's, the whole, there's, there's too much, much that they can easily screw, screw up at that point with doing live action. action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just oh. like, yeah. like I don't know. If you were animated, that would also it'd be like it'd be you can make like the world just look interesting and also kind of accurate. Oh. Um, uh, two more movies I want to make mention of here. What's up? First one, uh, uh Finding, Finding Dory. Dory. Yes! Guys, I think yeah, that. Finding Dory! That's gonna be adorable. Oh, no, no, no. Queensland! <laughs> What's the next uh, one? And then the second one, I'm sure Brad will be excited about this because of all the doors he's possibly open theory-wise. Uh, for our uh, channel. Five Nights at Freddy's the movie. Yes. Yes. I heard about that. That would be interesting. But Scott is actually working with them, so that's a good thing. When I heard about that, and the so. director is passionate about it too. But yeah. Not to mention, uh, the story is going to be canon to the universe, but not a story we've seen yet. Yeah. Yes. And almost all practical effects, which is awesome. I, I can't wait. Are actual animatronics. This is going to be <laughs> as shit says it's going to be a horror movie. Yeah. But it's it's going to be a horrible and adorable at the same time. That's what they said. It's going to be adorable and a horrible. Okay, that one on the phone would be an intro. Huh? It's not going to have a vindication feeling where it's like things in people in costumes or, well, animatronics in costumes for me out as little. And people are like, why you scare them? They're supposed to be fluffy and adorable characters. I'm like, no, they're evil. Explain to them our Chuck E. Cheese situation that we had uh, way back when. 
<laughs> I, I was scared of Chuck E. Cheese, all right? My sister didn't like one of them. She freaked out. She started crying, went underneath the table for her, what, her fifth like, birthday. It was hilarious. Okay. okay. Brad, Brad, you, go, you <laughs> want to explain this, or should, should I? I? You do it. Brad! Okay. Well, so both are, of you. Okay, well, um, our Chuck E. Cheese, cheese, we only had one. one. It was like, like a, a, it was like a couple towns down. Far out. So, yeah, we had to go on, like, a pretty long trip to go there. When we got there, it's, like, really not well-maintained. <clears throat> so, so not, not only, only were, were they, they like, like you know, know freaky ass, ass like animatronics already they, they were like rotting animatronics, animatronics. you could you see, see mold under, under their, their fucking armpits. armpits yeah oh I it guess we okay. found the lore of the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's it, it, it was pretty much a, a real life, life Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy's. minus the murder, murder. alright are you sure well, that, that you know of that you know of it's Fargo anything could have fucking happened maybe Scott walked in there he's all like <laughs> you know what's funny about Scott? Uh, he made these horror games, but he he does these Christian games. He's Christian. He, he originally he did Christian games, games and people complain that is uh well, that no, is no, Chipper not Chipper not Chipper. Christian. He did yeah. Christian games. Yeah, he did. People, people complain that, that his CGI, CGI looks, looks too much like a fucking animatronic. So he's like, okay, yeah, let's roll with this then. Yeah. Somebody like that. I'm gonna show you what I can do. You wanted to try something different, and it just shot through the roof. And now, and now he's, he's doing, doing Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy's World. World. Yeah. Is, <laughs> oh, they say the door. Yeah. They're yeah. cute, adorable, and murderous at the same time. Yay! What a wonderful combination. <laughs> you want to hug them and beat them at the same time? Why that fuzzy? Brad. Look at fuzzy, she's no, like... No, we're not. <laughs> Brad, no, I must say... <laughs> Fucking glad, glad Matt Pat, Pat got, got the hint with, with his theory. theory. Mm -hmm. We, if, if he didn't, we would have, have to have made a complete video debunking his theory with our own. No, <sighs> that is true. But he got a clue. Yay! <laughs> well, we have about three minutes left in the recording. What can we fill in three minutes? And Fuzzy, you're all right. right. You okay, Fuzzy? <laughs> Ooh. I had an allergic reaction, I think, down in Utah, which was really interesting. Oh, shit. But um, the last time I had it, there was a lot of smoke in the state I live in. There was a lot of smoke down there from my state and from down south, because I know California gets fires every year. Um, and so the state I was in is, like, right in the middle of both. Oh, God. Um, I know if you get full on exposure, that it does affect you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... And Salt Lake happens to be surrounded by mountains, so there's oh. really not a way to blow smoke away. Yeah. It has to be, like, rained on. Was there a smog warning for you when you were there? Mm-mm. You don't you know, necessarily have to have a smog warning, warning to have that. Um, something like something that happened to me a while ago, back when they were having wildfires in Minnesota. Okay. And I had to work at a factory where we just had the ventilation where they just opened up the doors on the outside. We caught that wind and... I don't know why I went home that night. I was sicker than a dog. This is why I'm glad North Dakota only had badlands you had to deal with. And Ohio only has, like, dense forests that rarely ever catches on fire. Well, yeah. I have to deal with deadly animals trying to kill me every five minutes. Spiders inside the fucking birds. I'll just stick with my deadly weather. Makes it more exciting. And they grow. I'm getting better now. It's just... I'm still getting the after effects of it, and so, but the further we got away from Salt Lake, the better I got, and so, I think a lot of it was just because of all the smoke this year, because the last time it happened, it was, there was a lot of smoke just in our state alone, and it affected me at that point in time, so I'm almost wondering if I'm allergic to something within the smoke, which would be getting worse. CO2, CO3 emissions, possibly. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not uncommon. It's not uncommon. Stuff. It's not uncommon it was just kind of weird because I'm used, used to being around campfires. My family loves going camping. camping. Maybe something burned and you're just mm. rea reacting to yeah. it. That could be like another it, thing. Like it would be more than just um, firewood burning. Pussy. Yeah, these are houses or other things burning, car, or when, anything that's caught in that fire. Lead paint, lead paint, you name it. Paint. It's all yeah, this. it could have been anything and stuff, but I think it was just something within that smoke and so, but it did affect me. I had to 
ignore it. it. I'm, I'm just like, like I'm, I'm ignoring, ignoring it and enjoying my experience, experience no matter what. <laughs> oh, you're a little fighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I, I ended up having to take one of my contacts out, which I think has helped a little bit too. So, yeah. But yeah, yeah. it's the uh, end of our recording session time. Right? But uh, I'm glad you had fun. Sorry you had to deal with our California smoke. I had to deal with my state smoke too. Okay. So it's not completely California's fault. So let's see. Fuzzy, you take half the blame. Tombo takes half the blame. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take we'll take portion of blame. But anyway, well, thank you guys for um, thank you guys for joining in our recording today, and we'll we'll see you next time. Stay crafty. Stay crafty. Take care of your brother. Bye.